Capricorn to your February 17th through the 22nd reading. Hope your friends are doing great out there. If your friends like this, please like and subscribe. Okay, friends, let's see what's going on with you. Best message, please, for Sagittarius Capricorn. loving man coming through. Got a couple of those going on like that. Um, feeling like you have a happy success within the situation, but yet there is a little bit of a decrease over here when it comes to this. It feels like this person is holding back a little bit. They have a little bit of fragmented energy when it comes to this new supportive connection. Yeah, so it does feel like your person is holding back a little bit when it comes to love. Um, it does feel like a little mentally conflicting. So it does feel like, hmm, Hmm. Okay, guys, let's see what's going on. Oh, got that happy success over here. So you do feel very happy with this new connection that you do have. It just feels like they're not coming towards you the way you would like them to. Uh, let's see. Yeah, movement. Having the movement and the choices for this new love, but it does feel like this is the choice that you were looking for, um, daydreaming a lot. It does feel like you could be dealing with a, a Scorpio or a cancer, um, right? But it does feel like they daydream a lot and they may be kind of out in wonderland. It could definitely be dealing with a water sign because it does feel like they're in hideout daydream mode. So if you do feel like your person is kind of hiding out quiet and in daydream mode, that's because, you know, that's what they do. Um, but it does feel like it's a decrease in the way that the relationship is going. So you may feel like it's not going the way you want it to, even though you're very happy just feels like, yeah, you would like them to come towards you a little bit more. Um, yeah. It does feel like, though, if they don't come towards you, you know, it's almost like, you know, I have other options. I'm not going to worry about this too, too much. I do want them to come towards me, and I would like to keep this supportive connection going. But if I have to move on, I'll move on, right? Because um, it is fragmenting the energy. You are very starry-eyed about this person, but they are also very starry-eyed about you. Could be dealing also with an Aquarius. Um, there is some ambition and drive to want to continue with this relationship. There's a lot of giving and receiving, though. So when they're not hiding out and they're not doing whatever it feels like they're doing um, in day, maybe daydream land, definitely could be dealing with, I'm just going to bring them up, uh, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer, maybe even a Virgo, or just kind of floaty up in the air, air sign, kind of la la land, they kind of do that too, so it could be Aquarius or a Libra. Um, over here, you do have the wish coming true um, on the conflict, so it's like, even though it's all in my head and I'm having internal conflict, I still feel like this person is my wish come true, and I'm very content with them. Um, wow. So they do give you content. So there is some love there. Look at that. I do have some love for them. But I do feel like I do put in a lot of extra work, you know, when it comes to this person on, on uh, certain days. Trying to maybe get them out to go on a date. Uh, get them out to go do something. Sometimes they hide out. Yeah. I want to travel. I want to do this. And sometimes you're, you're hard to, ooh, maybe they're fence setting. That's scorpion energy right? But you are investing a lot of time within this person, but it does feel like they do, when they come back, man, they're ready to rip and roll over here. Texting, 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 texting. Talking, talking, talking. So, I do see that. Let's get some heart, uh, some love messages, excuse me, and see what's going on. Because I do feel it's like a kind of back and forth where it's like, they make me so happy and they're right there, but then all of a sudden they're hiding out or they're procrastinating or they are not writing me. Or... It looks, that's where the fragmented energy is also because it's confusing. And it does feel like they have fragmented energy as well. Heart-to-heart uh, -heart conversations coming out. It does feel like when they're busy doing their own thing, you're just going to worry about your own finances, your own business. Go do your own thing, right? Go worry about your own career, right? But And then when they come back, they're like really flirty, right? Wow. 
It is saying that they are staying optimistic about this love, though. I mean, you know, they're trying to keep an open mind about the situation, um, right? And let's see how you're feeling about them. Uh, definitely a lot of attraction going on over here. Wow. And some passion. And wanting to have a retreat. And it just feels like, yeah, I, this is the, I would like to travel with them. I would like to do things, you know. I like to travel. I would like to take them places, do things with them, right? Um, but it does feel like they're a little hesitant to do things. And then it seems like some days they're, they're bouncing all over the place like Tigger, right? Let's go. Let's go. And then other days it's like, oh, I haven't done my hair and I don't want to do this. And I'm quiet and I don't want to, I don't want to deal with the day and and then you're just like kind of confused. Mm. Okay, guys. Well, let's get one over here because we're talking about that career and finance really fast because I know you guys like that as well. So see how you're doing on that career and finance real quick. Um, give us a message for healing for finances. Ooh, dreams of abundance. As you sleep, God, your angels, and your higher self are giving you divinely guided ideas, answers, and solutions. Be sure to record your dreams in a journal because they contain valuable insights and will help you manifest your desires into reality. Those of you who are going after new business ideas, uh, could be owners of your own business, wanting to own your own business, things of this nature, make sure that you are paying attention to your dreams. An exercise to increase your energy and manifestation abilities. This could be used for everything. The key of manifesting quickly is to have very high energy levels, and the easiest way to increase them is through physical exercise. Choose a fun and meaningful activity so that you'll look forward to exercising and it becomes your own reward. Absolutely, because the higher that your vibration is, the higher things get done. Right? So, and let's just get out a card for that uh, finances and career really quick. Uh, another one. Material properties. How is it looking for this time? You guys are exhausted and overworked. It just looks like they you're very exhausted and overwhelmed about the situation. But you're definitely following your heart. Wow. Definitely following your heart no matter what, but it looks like it's very overwhelming right now um, for your for your finances and career. So let's look at that really fast over here. Let me just look at something with the Knight of Cups when it comes to finances and career, guys. Because, yeah, it looks like, you know what, I'm following my heart. I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. You are focused and capable of seeing your financial goals to fruitation. You may have to cross into unknown territory, but once you do, the money will, will flow. When it comes to career, you will have a vision for your business. That's why I said it feels like somebody's building their own business. And will stop at nothing to see it into reality. You have high standards and expect others to follow your lead. Okay. And with the seven of wands in reverse, the career in finance is talking about 100. You owe money to people and they're getting impatient for payment. Pay up now. If you can't, try to negotiate better terms. You may have taken credit from someone else's work or didn't give credit where it was due. Make sure that you uncover the truth about this lying person. So you may be uncovering the truth of this lying Leo over here who may have stolen some money, taken some money, and they now owe you money. Okay, or maybe you did something for a client and they still owe, right? But it says, yes, you will get a happy message about that situation, so hopefully pretty soon... They will pay up. Ooh. Pay up, pay up. Okay. Until next time, my friends. Peace and love. Bye-bye.